Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 1st of August 2019. We're going to reflect on Matthew 13, 47 to 53. Listen. Jesus said, again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore, sat down and put the good into baskets, but threw out the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? Jesus asked them. They answered, yes. And he said to them, therefore every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. When Jesus had finished these parables, he left that place, the Gospel of the Lord. My last reflection was titled, Understanding Jesus, where I spoke about how this was a very difficult task. Understanding Jesus is like a monkey understanding us. Today's reflection is titled, Jesus Understood, and it is a little tongue-in-cheek, and let me explain why. Jesus has just told his listeners seven parables. The sower, the weeds, the mustard seed, the east, uh, the hidden treasure, the pearl of great price, and the gnat. And then asks his apostles, have you understood all this? And they answer, yes. Wow, really? In his head, Jesus probably went really too, but he doesn't say anything. He goes on to tell them an eighth parable. This is what he says. Therefore, every scribe, who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. If you had asked his apostles if they understood this, they probably would have lied again. Anyway, this has direct relevance to all of us, especially those of us who teach kingdom truth. So let us understand this parable. The disciples would eventually understand the truths about the kingdom of heaven that Jesus was teaching them because Jesus would have explained everything to them. They would also have been trained in communicating these truths to others, especially once they applied these truths to their own lives. Because only experiential understanding really has any impact. What do I mean? Let me explain. Yesterday, we looked at two parables, the parable of the hidden treasure and the parable of the pearl of great price, both stories of discovering treasure. Jesus said that in order to obtain this treasure, which was symbolic of the kingdom of heaven, one had to sell everything of the world and give it all up. The apostles did exactly that. We have left everything to follow you, Peter once said to Jesus, and they had, because that was the price one paid to be in heaven. We cannot live in the world and claim to be citizens of heaven. And if we aren't living as citizens of heaven, how can we proclaim the kingdom of heaven to others? Nobody will listen to us. But if we have truly died to the world and become citizens, residents of heaven, then we become like this rich guy who has a wealth of resources at his disposal, both old and new, because those who live in heaven have access to it all. And this person brings out different expressions of the kingdom of heaven. Prose, poetry, music, dance, drama, even social media, so beautifully and so easily. It is what I call living in the supernatural. Wouldn't you like that? So quit with the things of the world. They're rubbish, really. They just give you hangovers and heartaches. Live in heaven instead. You'll enjoy it. God bless you.